We've started in this book with understanding your strengths and weaknesses, understanding your passions, trying to filter out conventional wisdom and peer pressure so you can actually focus on who you are. But those will only get you so far. You have to take one big additional step, which is you have to understand yourself further. And what I mean by that is you need to understand your story and your life. What I ask people to do is, first of all, write down the facts of their life. Now, everybody can do that, right? I was born in a certain place. My parents did the following things. I grew up, I went to high school, brothers and sisters, and just write out the facts. Second step for, is, is I point out to people and ask them to think about the narrative that they attach to that story. Everyone, whether they realize it or not, puts a spin, a narrative on their life story. And for most of us, we are taught through most of our life to put what I'd call the success narrative on our life story. How we triumphed, persevered, what we learned, it all worked out okay, it had a happy ending. It may be about adversity and how I, how I had setbacks, but it usually is a story about me prevailing. There's a third story then, and that I would call your failure narrative. It is a story uh, usually based on uh, traumas in your life, setbacks in your life. The punchline to that story is, usually in your head, I'm not good enough, I can't do something, uh, I'm afraid. This is not such a happy story, and it seldom is one that you tell. But it's there in your head, whether you are aware of it or not. And what I try to do with people is get them to write down their own failure narrative. And I'm not trying to do that to get them to stop having a failure narrative, because I won't be able to do that, it won't work, but to get people to be aware of it. Because normally, if you're in a job or you're in a career and you're struggling, that struggle is more often than not, not just connected to your skills, it's more likely connected to your doubt about yourself, your insecurities, uh, which normally relates to a, something that happened in your life. The only reason to do this is not because I'm trying to be a psychoanalyst, it's to figure out why you do what you do. My purpose is to get you started on a path with the number of exercises you can do and action steps so you start understanding yourself better. It is an essential part of reaching your potential and doing what you're really meant to do.